don't mind the mess in the back. Um, half of it is my mess that I have not been able to clean up. Um, this little red thing is tool. But the reason why I even came up on this clip is because I am redoing my haul. So the box is already open. However, I was in a rush and you couldn't really see it. Um, I am doing laundry today, but I have to get some content out. So, yeah. All right. So I'm still as excited as I was when I received it. And Feast to Print um, was so great with delivery because um, I do know it was USPS. And that same day, my sister had problems with UPS. So I was scared for my package. But USPS comes in clutch. My true love. <laughs> um, because sometimes, I mean, I have shit from UPS. But however, I do it very rarely because um, they're expensive. <laughs> but... If you also don't know, I go to a different office now because that um, one coworker at the main branch where I go, oh my gosh, <laughs> so rude. So I rather go over there to the other one that's actually closer to me and get better service, you know? All right, on to the haul. So these are already opened. But, I gotta show y'all, I've been so proud of these. I still gotta edit my other video, but you know, gotta film. All right, so these are my little price tags. I don't know how they're gonna go. However, um, we'll see. I got a hundred of them. The logo is too small. That's the only problem. However, it still has my business name right here. And the reason why I hope these go over well is because of, I think they may work, but the little hole has been giving us problems with the um, price uh, tagging gun. So I hope this works because I have a hundred of them and they're not cheap. So next time I'll know to make the sizing bigger on the logo because i thought it was okay but apparently not it showed the logo showed bigger than what it's on printed however we're going to make do what we got because it's already printed and done all right so i have 98 of these because one i went i gave to my nurse that's a fellow small business owner and then also one is from a co-worker who has bought with bought for me in the past but this is my new business card. It's not the same quality as um, my other one. Like this, like it's still printed good. However, and I think it looks nice. However, it doesn't have, you can bend it. My other ones, you couldn't really bend. So that's one problem um, that I'm worried about. However, it, it it's always in a box. So it doesn't really matter. But that's my logo. I got the new updated logo for consistent branding. And then on the back, it says, are you interested in placing a custom order or to place an order on our shop? Follow the links below. And it's got my Let's Be Social, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And it's got, I put in parentheses, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And I put in parentheses my uh, username for YouTube. So the only, I made one grammatical error and I put two commas in the parentheses, but that's okay. But I'm glad that these did not print wrong because I have a, I have 98 of these, but I love this as well. I just wish the, I'll have to look at my other previous orders to see what quality I did the very first ones, but these are my business cards. They always come in like a little box and the business cards normally come in a little fun box. I have the other one from my very first uh, order. But I need to put those up. And then the most exciting part because yes, I love new business cards. And yes, 
um i love my price tags and the only re let me go ahead and explain why i went ahead and print those price tags it's because my printer is iffy um i do print my signs from canva on there however it is very very iffy if it works or not and we do not have the money to buy another printer right now so the best bet is to really just get them printed and also they look more professional when i'm not the i'm not the best with cutting so they kind even if they are printed really nice because i put cardstock they i don't know i feel like it's better quality and also i could probably reuse the same tags for the same thing if i make the same thing but also it is cut professionally so i that's what i like about it but on to the last thing which i'm most excited about which if you've seen in my past videos i got a smaller thing of this but i upgraded da, 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 da. i got a new table runner that is bigger they had a sale it was starting at 60 something i don't remember the dimensions if I can look back on it, I will put it into this in a little text box. I need iron this, but yeah, the QR codes do work. Repeat, the QR codes does work. But the reason why I want to do a QR code is because not everybody wants a business card, and sometimes they get lost. So the QR codes. But also, the reason why I put my YouTube QR code on there is because not everybody is a shop and is not one to buy a crochet thing. But if they're trying to learn how to crochet, I already got a YouTube and da -da -da -da, you can go straight to my YouTube. Um, I pulled up the design when I'm trying to sh show other people and because and the picture I had, it didn't really let you scan, but like from the actual design itself, you can scan it. Now, the only thing about this is that there's a little bit bleeding between the yarn and the elephant. But other than that, it's okay. I think it's pretty good, but that is it for my haul. Except for if you really want to know, like, what I've gotten recently with beads. Here you go. So, I got two of these. They're 101 count. People love these with the um, with the mixed match colors. So, I got two of these because I am running low. And the one time I got an order for a pink hook, I just ran out of just the little hexagons and I think you only get like three each so I have six pink hexagons I have probably nine purple because I haven't really sold any purple ones I got six light blue no probably seven light blue because I already have one that's already on the um in the little organizer and I have about seven of these teal hexagons so i use a lot of the marble too and the little opal one too if the hook does not have a letter size but yeah but i also got some new colors and some new prints um which i'm pretty excited about because if you've seen on my post i have cows and some people like more of the neutral colors with cows, with cow hooks. And I also have like more brown leopard print. I call it cheetah print, but it's leopard print. And I need to get rid of, because I have a lot of the brown cheetah print, but it's okay. But I really think that this would go well with it. So I got a set of this. Um... I'm really more excited about because I got some white of the of the cheetah print and I got I have a crap ton of white and black a crap ton but I'm mostly excited about the gray 
because I have a stock of gray and then I also have this like tan color and I like the different colors of browns in this thing. And this one comes in the set of 70 pieces. So yeah. And if you wonder where I get my beads, I have a absolute a range of shops that I put on. Now these, I will say you can buy on Amazon, like literally. If like you're selling Amy sticks and you want to get started, these are like, I forgot how much this was, but this was $6.99 a piece. But I got two because I run out quite a lot. But I'm currently waiting on my um, my beefing beads. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. And I got orders to make for tomorrow with it. So, yeah. And I also got some more um, daisy bees coming in so I might just go ahead and put it in to this vlog for like a whole big haul and I also got um an actual bees coming silicone bee bees for the bee thing because I feel like because this is my personal hook okay and um I feel like I can make different toppers with it and because the bee fiend has three different like pictures i believe i can make one with each of the three designs which is would be the sunflower the daisy and the bee i do have sunflowers i'm literally just waiting on these these two and the daisies but i got a lot more daisies coming in so i don't run out because i think i'm not sh pretty sure i put next text box if i'm wrong that it only comes with two two of the toppers but i may be wrong i may be wrong i already gotten started i just need the bees to finish it now in this video we're also going to discuss the new announcements that's coming in and what i have been working on so if you don't know on this youtube channel i have had multiple people in my in-person shops like my little markets especially in pickens that have requested for tutorials and i pull up a poll and y'all did 50 50 so i'm trying to do both i am going to start restart because i do have one tutorial but it's not the best i'm gonna redo that one i'm not gonna take it down or anything but i'll just redo the quality but and make a better video so it's easier to understand and so I don't like confuse y'all so it's a little bit more easier to understand of how to do it but I'm going to do crochet tutorials and I have bought from Joann's this little bendy light so when I clip my phone, because this one will turn, I can put this above my phone, I hope. Because it's like elastic and it's got a clip. I mean, it's got different modes. So I hope I can find a mode that works. But then also, let me just go ahead and tell you also... I don't know if I'm putting it as a free pattern or a paid pattern, and I know there's a lot of B patterns out there, but I'm currently working on a B pattern. I'm working on my B pattern, and there's a little bit of a difference to where it's my pattern that makes it my own unique style. And if you watch my past YouTube videos, I forgot which one. But there's one specific method that I normally use that not a lot of crocheters use. So I I basically like and putting that one out there. I am gonna be marking market prepping some more bees. So I do have it at least wrote up some, but I need to make more bees so I can 
basically test it as I go. But if y'all would like to pattern test it, I would probably go um, to Instagram to test it out before it even comes out. But I believe that B pattern would be the very, very best. It'd be like a dollar fifty, really. It's not that hard. Like it really isn't. It's just for Etsy fees. If it is on Etsy, I just need to be able to, you know, pay for the listing fee. You know, that's really about it. Um. And the only reason like it would be cost that much is not because it would be a low quality pattern because sometimes if you buy cheap patterns, sometimes, sometimes, unless they're ha unless a lot of people are having a good sale, that um you can you basically half and half with risking having a good pattern or a bad pattern. But I am going about this pattern as if I would want my pat like a pattern that I bought to be. Um I have not had pictures yet, um, but you have seen you have seen my bees before. Um, I know I had go. I know that I would have to go into specifics, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all that I personally do not measure my safety eyes, and I don't know how to measure safety eyes. So I'm gonna have to ask Melly Inspire Crochet because I have I am friends with her on like Instagram to see if she knows a way to measure safety eyes because I currently do not have it. Um, I don't know how to and I've lost the labels and I know I need to be better at labels, but I don't know what I got. I got a, tons of different sizes and I don't know which one is which. So I don't know if you just use a tape measure and you're good, but I really don't know. But I'm working on tutorials. I I really am. It probably will be an extra video with this week. Um, cause I got one coming out the the week that I am recording this, but then this will be coming on, cause I'm filming this on the thirteenth. No, on the fourteenth. This I'm recording this on the fourteenth. And then it's coming out, not tomorrow, but the upcoming Tuesday. I know that's so confusing, but yeah. But that is my haul and that is my announcement. I will probably do more hauls to make this video a little bit like longer. Because I know you'll like some more content and I do have stuff coming in. Like it's not a secret. I do have stuff coming in. I do not know if I'm able to get my crochet hook set and that is really irritating me because that would have marked the third third order that I've had to cancel and get a refund because of Amazon I I'm so frustrated with Amazon right now I really am they did deliver this and I am watching my bee themed beads very 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 closely very Cause I'm irritated <laughs> and I'm so sorry that I'm ranting, but this is a small business rant. Like I need to rant out because I, I bought groceries while Helene was after Helene hit. Cause everybody was buying everything off the shelves, even, but even, even toilet paper, they were buying it out of the blue because of the port strike. And <laughs> so that's the only reason why I even considered grocery shopping online because I normally never ever ever do and now they're taking their sweet time to refund my money <sighs> so stressed but then also I need the hooks because I got a market coming up so what am I supposed to do <laughs> literally cancel the delivery or just wait to see if it ever comes. I don't know. They come, they come in a set and they, it's the cheapest set that I got, but it's good quality hooks because I make, this is literally my third order that I have bought from them.
I'm literally about to cry just thinking about the fact of how stressed I am right now over this mess. So Amazon, do better please. <laughs> because the amount of gray hairs, I got stress pimples. Like I had a pimple right here. I think it's going away. I had a stress pimple somewhere right here. what to do i mean i got the set that i got from michael's because that comes in four hooks i spent extra money than what i had didn't have to because i'm waiting on these hooks <laughs> the amount of money i spent on crochet hooks is ridiculous <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous just because of this one set being delayed uh but i am I'm, i am making profit off the of hook so thank y'all for all that y'all ordering um i i have increased the price to eight dollars because we i i increased the price because of this instance because if i have to get another supplier i have to be able to cover that cost you know, like say, I normally get these in a set and like per, I have, I have the cost written down, but I do not remember. I do not, I do not know where it is right now. And I'm trying to film this clip, but like with these hooks, this is part of the set that I normally get. And I have a bunch of different size hooks, which I'm about to get these bigger size included because with this other set if it comes i'll have like a bunch of big size hooks but they normally don't cost that much per hook when you buy in a set you actually do save money okay in the instance like this when i cannot get that specific set because it's been delayed like i'm i'm waiting like over a week for these hooks like for over a week i cannot let my customers wait over a week but the only reason i got these people with the bee theme hooks waiting is because i need the beads which i will never run out of beads ever again i made a different system but this is just my rent but in the instance that the hooks are delayed and I have to go grab another hook, I need to be able to make profit either way. Okay? Now, I do make profit. Now, if you buy a hook with the $8, I do still make profit. And that is the reason why. Because when I buy each individual hook, it gets pricey but i need to be able all right the price has increased to eight dollars in the instance like this where the hooks have been delayed i need to be able as a small business owner to make profit and still get the orders out if i need to get another supply from a different carrier okay and also um, I believe since they're high quality and they're still selling that I am able to increase the price only by a dollar because I believe they're worth that much because a lot of crochet hooks are like selling for like 20, like 12 to 18 to almost 20 bucks. So, and I need to be able to pay my husband for the labor because he helps me a lot with the bigger size hooks and it takes time guys it takes time and we put creativity we put a lot of thought in it because i i leave room like for example like i leave room for chunky yarns and this is a four and a half like if you need to do a triple crochet or you need to do a triple crochet cluster i leave room for that and i put in so much, so much thought with the grip. But yeah, that's my rant for today. Amazon do better. I'll see y'all guys in another clip when my 
stuff is coming for like if my hooks ever come and with my beads so let's see what we can do all right guys it is burning up in here i have the heat on but i need to do this uh haul with you they came in all right gotta make sure i do not put my address in here all right so this comes in a set of i always forget how many hooks it comes with but it's a lot so I think it comes anywhere from a two millimeter to a 10 millimeter. Look at all these hooks. And I'm thinking about including a little like a uh, tapestry needle with all of y'all's orders um, because y'all have literally blown my mind away with those. Um, but I may include some 10 millimeter crochet hooks into the drop because nine and ten millimeter because i have a lot of them i was keeping because i did not have over an eight and nine so i do have one for myself but i have at least one eight millimeter one nine millimeter and i don't use tens so y'all can have the tens but um but also set them to the side because i didn't think about selling tens but I may need some because I have an overstock of them and I need them to get them out. But I love these hooks. That's why I use them with my personal crochet hooks. Um, no, that's a lie. My favorite crochet hook set comes in this little polka dot case. Comes in this. And I definitely need to get a brand new case for all of my hooks, but I love this hook set. This is my personal. If I always choose to crochet every single day is from Be Crafty. However, I do like these as well. The only thing about that is the reason why I don't use these a whole lot is because well first i get these because they're cheaper in materials but this one comes with a little my personal one comes with a gauge it comes with is that one millimeter i don't know Comes with a little thing where you can find the hooks, I guess, if you lose the sleeve. Um, but it also comes with a little ruler. My personal one does. And then I got little scissors. And I got, normally comes with a bunch of tapestry needles that I love to use. But I, yeah, I currently own like two sets of these, but you know, you always lose crochet hooks. I don't need to lose my crochet hooks by it, but let's get back to my supplies. This is the one that I currently have, <laughs> and this is bare in comparison to this. So I need to restock my, I need to update my Etsy listing, but I have an E, which is I believe a three and a half. I have a 3.75 and a blue, but I also like to use it with this hook that's why I kept it I have a yellow five millimeter which I think I could be creative about I have a three millimeter six and a half millimeter nine millimeter two and a half millimeter four and a half millimeter that's already like finished I can't take the hook I can't take the beads off and I believe this is a 3.75 Something like that. Three millimeter. One is a three millimeter. One is a 3.75. I can't remember which one. But this is what my current hook bag looks like. And now <laughs> I have all of these. So finally stocked up. 
so glad to finally be stocked up again and I am on stock galore. If y'all ever want the ones that I just showed you, I already have them made. So they're literally ready to ship. I may post them as an individual listing, but this says my neck, my back, my anxiety attack. This is a four and a half that says on my husband's last nerve, wife life, and a ghosty. I believe it's 3.75. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I will put in the text if I'm wrong. But I love this one. And those are only for a limited time. The little Halloween ones. I might keep the on my husband's last nerve because that is can go beyond Halloween. But yeah. <sighs> I know a B is like a two millimeter or 2.25. Either one, I gotta remember. I gotta print out my actual like sizing chart. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna see if it'll hold all the ones without beads in that bag that I just got and put my finished ones separately or with ones that has the leather in here so I can separate the two. And I will probably do something to where I put a tag of finished and unfit and ready to go be uh hooks or ready to go hooks and unmade hooks. But yeah, this one's now filled to the brim because I just put the hooks that I had in there that did not have beads at all of any kind in here. It's hard to close. And this one has the few of the one that has the size letter beads or the entire complete beads on there. So that is what I got for you today. Um, my beads for my theme, my bee theme bee should be here tomorrow so I can finish those orders. And I haven't heard of a complaint yet with the ship by date. It's just that the reason why I had to extend it is because I didn't want to cancel the order if I can get it in. However, it's just very delayed, you know? And I hope they understand that because it was a weather delay. It wasn't like me. Like, I couldn't control it, but we'll see how it goes. But hopefully I get good reviews with that and maybe I might just include some extra stuff in there to kind of make up for the delay because they pay in shipping for those orders but yeah i thought maybe this could be a haul video with the announcement video but i'll see y'all guys tomorrow when i get my beads all right guys this is my second take because i grabbed the wrong beads okay let's finalize this haul type video i hope y'all enjoy it so far i made a mention in my next video um when I was making hook orders that this is from that time supply. Um, I love these. I love how detailed it is and it was very cheap. I feel like stocking up again. However, I need to get my money first. So yeah, I have four more of those. I just shipped one off and I bought like a pack of five. Now these are my B themed. Um, I ran out of spots to you to put the white, black, and yellow. So I have really, I'm so glad I'm doing this, this clip so I can like actually see what I got. You're amazing. Got like, I believe four of each. Four? No. It's just a mixed match assortment of things. Okay, so I got some of these. I got five of those. I got three, um, which is about to be two. So I need to make another purchase, but with a different supplier of uh, these little polka dots. And I have three more of the plaid that goes on there. And I have a bunch of white, yellow, and black, as you can tell. So glad I'm doing this clip because I 
always need to know how much I got in stock. So after I make this one hook, I'm gonna have two plaid, two polka dots, and I think that's it. Because I don't use unless they specifically ask, which I may add this one in into their hook because they want the sunflower on anyways. So let's just say I'm gonna have four sunflower, two plaid, two polka dots, which I'm already one. <laughs> Uh, sorry. But, yeah. I'm so grateful for these hooks. I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. It's just a constant. When you're in in demand, you got to constantly stay up. And my best seller is the bee fiend beads. So, I feel like, and that's the most expensive kit. So, I got to look on my saver later and pull it back up because to see how much that would cost because this kit is normally like $20, like $19.99 and then with tax and all, it's like $20. I just mostly want to find something cheaper with the, with the design ones because I feel like I need just those designs. Like I said, I got an overstock of white, black and yellow, which is great. But I don't, I don't want stuff going away. So, yeah. But thank you coming from coming to my haul. Thank you for coming to the announcement video. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below if you would like to see more of these videos, behind the scenes videos, and if you're excited about the tutorials coming and the new pattern coming up. As as it comes closer for it to be finished, I. I do doubt myself a little bit. That's a little bit silly to release a B pattern. However, this is my first pattern and y'all, y'all gotta understand, like I'm trying to dabble in all different types of things and make more passive income because that's what I need to do because different streams of income is how I can survive. I also need to fix a little bit on my Etsy so I can start making more home at home kind of like what I'm doing on the um, in-person orders and markets, but I need to get ready for the market on Thursday. I don't know if I will be able to film much because it's in a retirement home and I don't want to violate HIPAA as a fellow CNA. I don't want to do that, but I may just do little clips and record myself throughout the day and my setup. Don't mind Fio, he's having the zoomies right now. But I will try to figure it out for y'all guys, either more of behind the scenes of me going there because it's my first time staying up alone and then breaking down alone. So that's that would be a very interesting day. But I'll see y'all guys later in the next video, either with the tutorial or um, some more behind the scenes. And I will see y'all guys next time.